Hi, I'm Maria Ingold. I'm here at Connected Media IP at NAB 2018. I am joined by Sean Longworth, the Chief Revenue Officer for Bitmovin. Welcome, Sean, how Hi, are you? Maria. I'm great, how are you? Thanks I, for having us. Well, thank you. Yeah. How are you finding NAB so far? <sighs> yeah, I, we always find this to be a really great event. Uh, this year is no different. Uh, this year's special because uh, we're twice the size that we were last year. We oh, have wow. yeah, twice the size of the booth and, and we just raised a $30 million round to uh, help our expansion into the future. So it's a, it's a very exciting time for that's Bitmovin. That's so exciting. <laughs> wow, is, okay. Yes, yes. So, uh, tell me more about Bitmovin. So, Bitmovin was founded, a company that was co-founded out of uh, uh, university research. Yeah. Um, our two co-founders uh, co-wrote or the first iteration of MPEG Dash, yeah. um, and then built a company out of that. Um, the passion of the company is to build developer-first, API-led products um, for the video supply chain. Um, we have a player product, we have an encoding product, and analytics products. We're really very passionate about supporting the developer and helping people build v better video products. That's wonderful. Well, mm -hmm. it's, it's really interesting that your co-founders wrote the first iteration of MPEG Dash. Mm -hmm. What are their thoughts on AV1? Uh, what I are think your thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think they're extremely excited about it. It's, yeah. it's one of the, the the first times in a long time that a codec has the type of momentum that AV1 has. Yeah. Um, HEVC was a huge step forward yeah. in innovation, but it had some problems. It wasn't adopted fully by Google, um, and it wasn't it, uh, all the licensing issues around mm -hmm. it um, caused pause. Uh, it caused people to maybe not jump into it as quickly as possible, even though it was a very efficient codec. Mm. But AV1 is even more efficient than HEVC. It's really, really well written, and it has the support of everyone. At this point, it's got Apple support, Google, Amazon. Uh, everybody's behind and part of the alliance of open media, um, So, and, and it's royalty free. So with uh, the combination of all three of those things, you would think that it's going to be a very powerful codec from here forward, and we're yeah. very excited about it. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to finding out more about it, because I know at the moment it's, it's about um, a, a hundred times slower to encode, but by the end of the year, that's going to just be five times, and it's going to be just getting better and better. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So last year, we won Best of NAB award for doing the very first AV1 live stream on the show floor. Wow, okay. Yeah, so we yeah. actually had a live stream on the show floor. It was running AV1 yeah. uh, over the internet. It was 1.5 megabit showing 1080p. It was a really beautiful picture. Yeah. Um, and at the time, we were running it in the cloud, yeah. um, and it was taking us a lot of resources because yeah. it wasn't locked down, the bit yeah. rate. So it was taking us considerable resources to get it done, but since then, we've optimized it on our side by 80% in just one year. That's great, um, okay. And it just got locked down. Yeah. So uh, HEVC is still more efficient, but it's had several but years to get there. But this uh, is going to leapfrog over that at some point. I would think over yeah. the next year or two, you're going to see it be equally as efficient as HEVC, yeah. That's, that's really exciting. It, so it is. I'm really it looking is. forward to finding out more about what happens with that and what you're doing with it, too. Yeah, and we actually, uh, at our booth today, we're, uh, we're working with Mozilla, they have the decoder and they're actually showing in our booth um, how to run an end-to-end -end solution on AV1, so if people want to check it out, they can come by our booth. Oh, that's really uh, exciting, yeah. wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Yeah. yeah, it's cool. So, uh, you're also doing artificial intelligence yeah. in your encoding, which, how, what are you doing with artificial intelligence in your encoding? Yeah, I think it's really exciting. So we've always been in the cloud. Uh, we've never yeah. been an appliance. Um, we've we built our encoding for the cloud from the start, and our core innovation is around using cloud resources very efficiently in the way yeah. we do our encoding. Um, the uh, what, What's interesting is uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning is kind of changing everything. Yeah. Um, and if you think of some of the things that people do in encoding, it doesn't really make sense anymore when you have a machine that can do something better. And a good example of that is choosing bitrate ladders. Um, most bitrate ladders are chosen by the smartest video guy on the team, <laughs> or, you know, or yep. maybe Googling what does Netflix do for bitrate <laughs> ladders, you know, uh, coming yeah. up with a bitrate ladder and just using that, right? And and if you apply a single bitrate ladder to every single encode you're doing, there's going to be a lot of inefficiencies to that. Um, if you think of machine learning or AI, it 
it's so much smarter to, and, you, and the resources are available today to say, why don't we have uh, you know, artificial intelligence decide what mm -hmm. the best bitrate ladder is for each and every encode we do, okay. which isn't possible if a human is making that decision, but a computer can make it the best decision every time. Uh, so we have a, a new product called Per Title Encoding, which uses artificial intelligence to choose the bitrate ladder for every single encode you do. Oh, wow. um, and it shows huge uh, bandwidth improvements, quality improvements across the board. It's it's way better, um, and That's you know good. that makes a lot of sense, right? It's kind of silly to try to make one dis static decision for all different types of sports content, you know, <laughs> news content, everything. It would yeah. make sense to try to do something custom. Yeah. And now that we have cloud resources available and uh, artificial intelligence really coming of age, that's very possible today. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense because yeah. you've got pans and scans and fast changes and skin tones and, and blacks and everything else and it mm -hmm. all has to look good. And yeah, that's right. You got to so think it all through and yeah, so have someone else think it through for you. Yeah, that's, that's right. So we're doing that on a per title, so every wow. t every t every right. code, but we're also using artificial intelligence within each bitrate stream. So mm -hmm. if you, you might be streaming something at 1.5 megabits, but um, if you're just showing a black screen, um, you can save some bandwidth there and build up your buffer a little bit for maybe an action scene that's coming up next. Uh, so we're also applying AI within the streams itself to get better quality, reduce bandwidth, provide a better overall experience for the end users. Wow, that's that's really good. Yeah, it's cool. So that's really cool. This 30 million in uh, dollars in uh, Series B funding. Yeah. What are you going to do with all that? What's, what are your plans for the future? Yeah, so it's, it's pretty exciting. So last year we went to market with a developer first platform, which is really unique. We, we really pride ourselves on having the best APIs, best documentation, the best way to support developers building products. Yeah. And you know, we served a place in the marketplace. So we grew tremendously um, in 2017. We had about 400% growth last year. Um, and we just have a couple products um, in the player and in coding and analytics. Um, but we think we can continue to provide more and more products that are um, not total solutions, but we provide products to the OVPs or to the right, broadcasters yeah. that yeah. want to build unique, compelling solutions on the video side. And uh, we'll continue to build that out. Um, and uh, we'll also continue to build out the commercial team with me and the partner team. We want to have more partnerships. Uh, so there's a lot of um, exciting things that we're going to be doing. Uh, so, yeah. Keep us keep keep your eye on Bitmovin. You'll see new yeah. products and new markets that we get into over the next few years. Well, in, enjoy the thirty million and playing <laughs> with all the new tech toys. We already had our party. <laughs> so. <laughs> all right, sounds wonderful. Yeah, cool. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Marie. It was a pleasure. Absolute right. pleasure. Yeah. Thank wonderful. You. <laughs> bye bye.